we will do the questions given in page number 1 113 based on geogebra the first question given under let's evaluate draw two horizontal lines draw a vertical line across them and measure all the angles formed so first we will draw two horizontal lines for that from group 8 we will select segment we will draw two horizontal lines and then a vertical line Pause them and now we will draw a vertical line. And now we have to measure the angles formed, and before that, we have to find the point of intersection. So we have to mark these two points, then only we will be able to find the angles. So from group to we will select intersect and then we will select the first line and then this line so here we got this point and then we will select this line when you get this uh, finger pointing symbol select that line it became bold and now select this line so again we got that finger pointing click and now we got the point of those two power intersecting points and now we will measure the uh, label the points so uh, bring the cursor to that point right click show label so like that we have to label all the points So this is the first line and we got the points as A and B and now this point it is given as C and this point D and finally this point and to measure the angles from group 8 we have to select angle uh, and now we will measure angle uh, and we will name these two points also label these two points so we labeled all the points and now we will measure from group 8 angle so we will measure angle A G E so E G and then A and now we will measure the angle E G B B G E and now we will measure the angle C H F F H so now we got the anti clockwise so we will give control Z and now we will measure uh, select the point C then H and then F so like that if we are if uh, the um, points that we are selecting are wrong then we will 
select the uh, points in the anti clockwise direction b and now we will measure the angle d h f so f h d and now b the uh, we will measure g h d so uh, we have to select the point as d then h and then g and similarly and now we have to measure the angle g h c so we will select g then h and then c and we will move and we will keep these values So you can drag and move the points, not the points, the values, so that you will be able to see that. And we have to measure this also. Just like how we measured this, we have to measure this. We are going to measure the angle A, G, H. So, we will select the points and now this also. And now we have to measure the angle H, G, B. So, H, G, and then B. So, here, all the angles here it is 90 degree because these lines are um, intersecting straight and uh, it is not so here all the angles that we got are 90 degree and we will save this so, file, save as and we have selected the folder GeoGebra from A to A only and then we will give the file name as Geo, GeoGebra Evaluate 1. And I told you the extension is dot ggb. We will do the second question. Draw a regular polygon with five sides in GeoGebra and give blue color to it. Name is it as pentagon. So here it is given as we have to draw a regular polygon. So from group 5 we have to select the second option regular polygon then uh, we have to plot for the first point then the second point and now uh, when you click at the second point we will get this window and here we have to give the number of vertices as 5 since we have to draw a pentagon then ok
we will um, just change the size of this and here we will place this down so from the last group we are selecting this from the last group move graphics view and you can drag and to increase the size from group one move and we are selecting the second vertex vertex and then if we are dragging then we can change the size of the pentagon and if we want uh, we have to give the color as blue so right click inside this pentagon object properties and then from color we will select blue so here we uh, change the color and now we want to uh, name it as pentagon so from group 10 we have to select text and we will click here and we will get this window and within this window ok and now we will bring the mouse pointer near pentagon object properties right click object properties and then we have to change the size so text we will make this pentagon a bit more bigger so we will select medium it is uh, given as small we are selecting medium and then if we want this in bold we will give this in bold then color also we will change we will give blue color only and we will just move this text we will keep it here we will label these points also so bring the mouse pointer to the point uh, to each point right click show label so just like this we can label the other points also c then d this is E show label and you know how to find the area how to measure and all so to uh, get the angle from group 8 angle and if we click inside this pentagon we will get the measures of the angle and then to find the area from group 8 area and click inside the pentagon you will get the area and then we will find the length of the site so from group 8 distance or length and select these points two points at a time So, we will find the length of all the five. From four feet, distance or length. And then we will select the adjacent points. So, A, B, B, C. Then, C, D. D, E and here 
we want a e so we got the length of the sides since it is a regular pentagon all the sides will be of equal length it is here it is 6.38 cm and now we want the perimeter so from group 8 distance or length and if we click inside this pentagon we will get the perimeter of this pentagon so again we will save this so from file save as and we will give uh, we have selected the folder GeoGebra and all and we will give the file name as GeoGebra Evaluate 2 and then save 